Hi there Highlander owners. Today in your 2019 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be taking a look at Kuwats NV 2.0 platform bike rack. This is a two bike platform rack that's available in either matte black, metallic black, or gunmetal gray like you see here. What's nice about this bike rack is that it has zero frame contact and it secures your bike in place with the hook here on the front tire clamping it down and the cam buckle strap here at the back for your back tire. This is especially nice if you have a carbon fiber bike where hauling it with the frame could potentially damage the bike. One of the nicest features about this bike rack that helps to stand out above the rest is that it can tilt away even when your bikes are on it. And it's especially easy on this bike rack where some others that do have this feature lack, there is an easy access lever right here. So you don't have to reach way down below. It's just right here. So you just grab it, tilt it down. This allows us to have full access to the back of our Highlander. So this way, if you're just stopping by a store and you just need to pick up some supplies when you're heading to the trail, you can easily store those in the back when you get there. The end of each bike tray has an integrated lock cable that can be pulled out, run through your bike, and then relocked onto itself. Remove your bike, simply unhook the cam buckle strap, take it loose, and then release the hook here at the front by pushing in on the release lever there, pulling it out, and then you can tip this down and out of the way. This is also what I like about this rack versus some others. Sometimes this arm is fixed in a certain position, but this one can be put out of the way, which makes it much easier to take off than those other styles where you have to feed your bike around that arm to get it off the rack. Now you'll wanna keep in mind that when your bike rack is installed, it does add to the length of your vehicle. This is important to remember when you pull in the garage before you shut the garage door, or if you're parking in any tight parking maneuvers. The distance from the edge of our rear bumper to the furthest point on our rack, it's gonna be about 33 and a half inches. The closest point at the back of our vehicle is gonna be here at about nine inches. The ground clearance at the furthest point is gonna be here at about 22 and a half inches. Now, if you leave your bike rack on your vehicle all the time, Kuwats come up with an idea to help you save on that space by pulling on the lever and then tilting the rack upward. This drastically minimizes the length that it's added to your vehicle. Now with it in its storage position, the furthest point from the edge of our bumper is gonna be here at about 16 inches. The rack is closer to the vehicle now with the closest point being about five inches. And your Highlander won't be able to open the lift gate in this position, but it's a simple lever push to tilt it down to get that access. Now, one of the things that I like about this rack versus the others that do have storage positions. We talked about the lever, how easy it was to access up there, but it's also easy to access here with its foot release. This is nice if you're rolling your bike up and you need to tilt it down, you got a bike in one hand, well, you can just step on that and then use one hand to put it down while your other hand's holding your bike. One more clearance measurement for you when you've got it in that storage position, the furthest point is gonna be about 14 and a half inches from the ground. Once you've got your bikes unloaded and you've got it in the storage position, if you have any maintenance you need to perform on your bike while out there on the trail, Kuwats included an integrated workstation. So you simply pull the lever, you can adjust the height that works best for you, clamp it in place, and then your bike can set its frame here. You can clamp it in and then make any adjustments you need right there on the trail. This bike rack's designed to work with two inch hitches only. It does come with an included hitch pin and clip, which does have a locking tumbler on it to keep it nice and safe. And unlike others that have an anti-rattle bolt, this one's upgraded that to an anti-rattle knob located here at the front. So you don't need any tools to tighten it down to get that anti-rattle. You just twist this knob until it's nice and tight and that'll prevent any vibrations that would have been here and all that noise from those vibrations, eliminating those and preventing any of it from transferring to your bikes, providing them with a smoother ride. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes.
finally we're at the solid speed bumps which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. And that completes our look at Kuat's NV2.0 platform bike rack on your 2019 Toyota Highlander.